Hey kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Jowls, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese! Boys and girls, please welcome to the stage someone very special. It's the star of our show, Chuck E. Cheese. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help. When I was younger, so much younger than today. Never needed anybody's help in any way now, But now these days are gone, days are I'm gone. not so self-assured And now I find Now I find, I change my mind And open up the door Help me if you can, I'm help feeling me down, I'm feeling down. And, I and I do appreciate you being around Help me get my feet back on the ground won't you please, please help me And now my life's changed in no oh so many ways My independence seems to vanish in the haze But every now and then I feel so insecure I know that I, I, know that I just need you like I never had before Help me if you can, I'm feeling down So much younger than today I never needed anybody's help in any way now, But now these days are gone days are I'm gone. not so self-assured And now I find Never mind, I changed my mind Open up the door Help me if you can I'm feeling down And I do appreciate you being round Help me get my feet back on the ground Won't you please, please help me Help me, help me You know, it's so nice to be loved, isn't it, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you bet it is. That's for sure. Hey, you're right, Helen. It's a great thing to know that you're loved. That's why it's so important to tell your family and friends that you love them. Well, what if your friends aren't used to hearing you tell them that, Chucky? Oh, Jasper, there's lots of ways to tell people that you love them. How's that? Well, you could compliment them on something that you really like about them. Or even uh, something that they're really good at. Or even if they're wearing a cute outfit. Isn't that right, Chucky? Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, and my, what a nice outfit you have on there, Helen. Well, thanks, Chucky. Do you like the freckles on my face? Do you like my teeth? They're out of place. I'd like to think so. Do you like the funny way I speak? I don't clean my room for weeks and weeks. I'd like to think so. Do you, do you, do you love me? Do you, do, 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 do you love me? I'd like to think so. Do you love me anyway? I like to think 
Drifting is just like any other thing you're going to try in life. You have to just kind of collect your strength and your courage and you have to go out and just try it. When I first started drifting and riding in cars, it was actually one of the scariest things in my life. Every time I'd get in the passenger seat, my legs would be shaking and I'd be really nervous and I'd be holding on for dear life, but uh, I think that kind of goes away after a while. Drifting is all about style. There's no clock, there's no start and finish line. We're judged on our racing line, our angle, and our speed throughout the course. Basically, controlled chaos with a car. It's attracted to the light. Chase, hit your lights! That got his attention. Now what? We need to lure him somewhere with no people around. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Link the chief in. Rescue headquarters. Go ahead. Dead. Uh, okay. First, don't worry. I'm with the rescue bots. What? Who gave you permission to... They did. I mean, uh, Dad, I don't know how to tell you this, but the rescue bots aren't robots. They're from another planet. They're aliens. How long have you known? Wait, you know? Transporters Rescue Bots. Weekday mornings. Only on the Hub Network. Kids, do you love seeing Chuck E. Cheese live and in person? Well, do you want to dance and sing with your favorite mouse? Well, we've got some great news. Chuck E. Cheese will be performing for you soon. Check out the live show performance schedule and your location for Chuckie's next appearance. You won't want to miss it. Yeah! Kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Chows, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese!
just the other day Moving along my way Minding what I was doing Everything okay That's what my mama say Keep to the rhythm of life's grooving Something comes along and seems too hard to do You just sing this song and let it bring you through She said, keep it grooving Everything gonna be quite alright Keep on moving Soon these things will be right out of sight Keep it grooving Don't wanna miss a single So keep on grooving Yep, that's what you gotta do <laughs> Keep on grooving No matter what comes your way Just the other day Dude had some words to say Deep inside anger brewing Know what I'm talking about? Things will be just fine Caught in the nick of time I said Keep to the rhythm of life's grooving oh. When something comes along It seems too hard to do You just sing this song And let it bring you through Come on now Keep it grooving Everything gonna be quite alright
here with amazing stunt dog, Super Jasper. Today, Super Jasper will try a stunt so amazing, a stunt so mystifying, we won't be able to even fathom it. Super Jasper, tell us what stunt you are going to try today. Mike, I'm going to attempt to arm wrestle. Uh, okay, but what's so amazing about that? Mike, I'm going to arm wrestle with myself. Well, that does sound amazing. It is amazing, Mike. Well, I hope you win. Tell him what he gets if he wins, Wick. Oh, yeah? Really? <laughs> oh, boy, am I parched. Let me have another one of those high C juice boxes. <laughs> They're really refreshing. What? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> hey, are we gonna do this thing or what? Okay, apparently we have some technical difficulties with Wick, so, uh, I'll just tell you. The winner gets a one-year supply of juice boxes from High C. Ooh, that sounds refreshing, Mike. I'm sure it is. Are you ready, Super Jasper? As ready as I'll ever be, Mike. All right, here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to arm wrestle with himself. This is amazing. Look at the sheer determination and will that it takes to compete at such a high level. This level of competition takes hours and hours of intense preparation. This is truly amazing stuff, folks. And what in the world is that loud slurping noise? Ah! Hit all these high seed juice boxes are really good. <laughs> they remind me of summer camp a few years ago. What? Oh, that, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, check this out. You can get 10 free tokens with a food purchase when you bring this coupon to Chuck E. Cheese's. Ladderback! Can you hear me, Wick Ladderback? Those high C juice boxes are for the winner! Wick! Hello! Did I win? You were arm wrestling with yourself! Do you know how ridiculous that is? Of course you won! But you also had to beat yourself to win, so you also lost! It's... it's so ironic! Oh, why do I bother? You know what? I quit. I'm gonna go do something else. I know. I'll perform children's concerts or something. If you need me, I won't be in my trailer! All right, I'll tell you what. Let's just do this wild. On me in three, two, one. The winner of today's contest wins, uh, one year... Uh, so, wins a one, wins one, one high C juice box. <laughs> Back to you, Mike. You got it? Good, I really gotta go. Hey kids, did you know that the gorilla is the biggest of the great apes? They can grow up to six feet tall and weigh 400 pounds.
Hey kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Chows, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese! Yeah! All right, everybody! Up on your feet! It's time to rock and bop with the country's favorite mouse! Get those feet dancing and those hands clapping for Chuck E. Cheese! I remember when I was young Me and Susie had so much fun Holding hands and skimming stones Had an old gold Chevy and a place of my own But the biggest kick I ever got Was doing a thing called the crocodile the kids were rocking round the clock We were hopping and bopping to the crocodile rock Well, crowd rocking is something shocking When your feet just can't keep still I never knew me a better time And I guess I never will A lot of mama was Friday nights When Susie wore her dresses right Am I crowd rocking was a high out of sight Some foreign guy Long nights crying by the record machine Dreaming of my Chevy and my old blue jeans But they'll never kill the thrills we got Burning up to the crocodile rock Burning fast as the weeks went past We really thought the crocodile rock would last Well, crowd rocking be something shocking When your feet just can't keep still I never knew me a better time And I guess I never will Well, I didn't love those Friday nights When Susie wore her dresses right And the crowd rocking was a high out of sight
Thanks for joining us for the CEC News Update. I'm Mike Manley with our top story. On assignment at a local supermarket, one of our very own reporters has found himself in an interesting predicament. He has been locked up in the employee break room and won't be able to exit the store until tomorrow morning. That reporter's name? None other than Wick Ladderback. Let's go to him now and see how he's doing. Wick, can you hear me? So, what do you think we're going to do this thing? Yeah? Hey, while we're waiting, you guys want to try some of this Kraft Mac and Cheese? Oh, that's outstanding. Mmm, mmm, it's the cheesiest. You know what I mean? Uh, we're obviously having some technical difficulties getting through to our locked up reporter. Let's give it one more shot. Wick, can you hear me? I mean, this stuff is G-O-O-D good. Oh, and looky here. It's a coupon for 10 free tokens at Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here's a coupon for a pizza. Three Cokes and 30 tokens for $17.99. That's fantastic. I mean, it really is. It's fantastic. Huh? No, it's available in any specially marked box of Kraft Mac and Cheese. Hey, uh, all right, get a close-up of that, huh? This might work out to be the scoop of the employee break room. <laughs> hey, so where's Mike? Are we gonna do this or what, huh? Are we rolling? What are we doing? Well, there you have it, folks. It looks like our reporter's doing just fine, thanks to his hearty supply of Kraft Mac and Cheese. It's the cheesiest. We'll see you again tonight for some more mouth-watering stories. Good day. Good job, oh. Cabella. <laughs> Thanks. Almost time for bath, books, and bed. Oh, oh. Not yet. Mm -mm. Oh. At the end of the day, you may still want to play, so here's a good strategy. When your bath time is near, feel the squirms disappear when you jiggle and jumble with me. Come on, everybody! You got to jiggle and jumble and jump. Jiggle and jumble and jump. We are inspired to make our bodies tired, so let's jiggle and jumble and jump. Take a guess, what's the next thing to do? Relax head, shoulders, nose, then your arms, legs, and toes. Now our jiggles and jumbles are through. It is 7.15, we're in bed nice and clean. Taking big belly breaths out and in. We close each sleepy eye, off to dreamland we'll fly. It's the time for sweet rest to begin. No more jiggle, jumble or jump. No more jiggle, jumble or jump. As we desired, we made our bodies tired. No more jiggle and jumble and jump. <laughs> Super Mad Lab! Investigate! Explore! Discover! Ah! Okay, scientists, we're going to become Leaf Investigators! Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. First 
forest, we're all going outside to gather as many different kinds of leaves as you can find. Oh, like tree leaves? Or plant leaves? You got it. And then we'll bring all the leaves back inside and compare and contrast them. Oh, I like what color they are. Oh, and what shape they are. Exactly. And you can use these magnifying glasses to look really closely at the leaves. Oh, I love using Yay. magnifying glasses. Maybe you'll find something interesting on a leaf you've never seen before. Okay, scientists, let's go find some leaves. Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey, you're a scientist. You can try this too. Okay, leaf investigators, it's time to explore outside. How many different kinds of leaves can you find? The back side of this leaf has lines on it. Go ahead and feel the bumpy texture of the leaf. This leaf has a white stripe down the middle. And these purple flowers have lots of small leaves. You can use a magnifying glass so you can see the tiny leaves. Now let's collect some leaves so we can observe them up close. A grown-up will cut off a leaf for you. Ooh, thin red leaves. There are lots of leaves on this fern plant. Way up in this tree, there are leaves that are red on one side and green on the other side. Ooh, you found a really big green leaf. Now it's time to compare and contrast all the leaves you found. Try sorting them into two piles. One pile with big leaves and one with little leaves. Hmm, how else can you sort the leaves you collected? Oh, you're making one pile of leaves with different colors and one pile of leaves that are just green. Good job, scientists. Now choose your favorite leaves and tape them into your journal. That way you'll always remember that leaves come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Hey kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Chows, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese!
For silly songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Today, Larry and Bob are on a photo safari, hot on the trail of a monkey or an ape. We don't know which, hence the song. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Oh, let's see if we can catch it on the tape. You can very plainly see if it's a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Look, there it goes. There it goes. I don't know. I can't tell if it's a monkey or an ape. It's very simple, Bob. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Oh, well, Larry, I'm not so sure. Ooga booga, it's not a monkey. Ooga booga, maybe it's an ape. <laughs> if it's a nickel or a salad or a pillow, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. If it doesn't have a tail... Not a monkey. Are you sure that's what you really mean to say? A uh, camera has no tail. It's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Huh. I think there's something wrong with your logic, Larry. Well, Bob, the lady at the zoo said it. And who am I to tell her that she's wrong? If there's a tail, it's a monkey. No tail, ape. It's easy. But, Larry, a kite has a tail. Then it's a monkey. A comet has a tail. It's a monkey. A bubble doesn't. Then it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape? Exactly. I knew you'd catch on. Larry, we might need to talk about this. I don't think the lady at the zoo meant... Shh. Look, there it goes in the trees. Follow me. It's got to be a monkey or an ape. I can't believe it's true. All this time I've searched for you. Snap the picture. Take the shot. We're among the lucky few. We finally did it. Photographer, we've discovered what we're after. Let me look. Is it an ape? Larry, this is a disaster. It's a monkey. <clears throat> Larry, that's a cow. Not that a... was exhilarating. Let's oh. find more. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bob say... Oh, Larry, you don't have a tail. I don't? Nope, and neither do I. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Bob. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. Whoa.
this one out. Whoa! Watch out, Elma! Are you okay? Oh, crikey! I really came a cropper. Looks like one of my feet is broken. Oh, that's what I get for showing off. That's awful, Uma. We're sorry. No, oh, I'm all right, mateys. Shankly will have me good as new in no time. It's gonna take a while to get you fixed up here, Uma. At least a week. A week? Oh, fair go. I can't be off my feet for that long. What were you doing to bust yourself up like this anyway? Cleaning an entire clan of barracudas? Don't ask. I'll have to order a replacement part. And it'll take some time for it to get here to Safe Harbor. I've got a whole stack of things to do. Equipment to maintain, reefs to scrub. Sorry, there'll be none of that kind of thing for you for a while. Poor Uma. I know. She hates it when she can't work. CCCCTV Hey kids! It's showtime! <laughs> With Pasquale the Chef! Jasper T. Jowls, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese! Hey, hey, hey there, everybody! You know what time it is? That's right, it's time to get down! And there's no one who knows how to get down better than our furry little friend. The mouse of the house, Mr. Chuck E. Cheese! Come on, everyone, let's get down and boogie! Get down on it! Oh, yeah! Get down on it! Oh. Get down on it! Get down on it! Come yeah. on in! Get down on it! Mm. Get down on it! Yeah! Gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance by standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. Tell me, how you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance by standing on the wall? Get your back up off the wall. I heard all the people say, get down on it, come on and get down on it. You really want it? Get down on it. Got a feeling? Get down on get it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get on it. Get down on it. Come on and get down on it, baby, baby. Get down on it. I said, people, come on, Chuck. What? What you gonna do? Huh? Come on. You gotta get on the groove. If you want your body to move. Oh, yeah. Tell me, baby. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. How you gonna do it if you really won't take a chance By standing on the wall Get your back up off the wall I heard all the people saying Get down on it Come on in Get down on it you Really want it Get down on it Got a feeling Get down on Get it Get down on it Get down on it Come on in Get down on you it you Really want it Get down on it Got a feeling Get down on Get it Get down on it Come on in, get down on it, get down on it, get down on it, while you're dancing, get down on it, sha da 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 Oh, what you gonna do? You wanna get out? Tell me, oh, what you gonna do? Get your back up off the wall, dance, come on, get your back up off the wall, dance, come on, get down on it, come on in. You really want it. Get down on it. Got a feeling. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Come on in. Get down on it. Why are you dancing? Get down on it. Oh yeah. Get down on it. You know what you're about? You just gotta get down on it. You get up, you start moving. 
rubbing your feet, get into the groove, and you just let it shake. You gotta dance, come on. That's it. You look great. Love you guys. so much, but all have an interesting life story to tell. The first mystery to solve? What is Asia exactly? That's a question that requires a closer look at the seven continents, or great land masses, on Earth. Ready? Uh. When we look at a map of the world, it's clear what landmass defines North America. North America is home to some very particular and recognizable animal inhabitants, from the American black bear to the prairie dog to the bison, the great shaggy symbol of the Wild West, sometimes nicknamed, affectionately, though incorrectly, the buffalo. Right, Bill? South America is another distinct continental landmass and home to its own population of amazing animals, from a host of charming and acrobatic New World monkeys to the regal giant anteater, to the largest rodent in the world, the sturdy capybara. Kind of resembles a giant guinea pig, doesn't he? That's a compliment, really. Of course, a number of animals, notably a number of carnivorous predators, have moved north through Central America to straddle both continents, from the jaguar to the cougar, as well as some other animals, like the infinitely interesting armadillo, which is Spanish for little armored one, or the handsome coati, a close relative of the raccoon. See the family resemblance? Flavors 
Everybody, it's about time for a joke. It's time for a joke, a joke from Pasquale. It's time for a joke, a joke from Pasquale, a joke from Pasquale. You have a theme song now? Yep, sure do. I like it. <laughs> I like it too. So let's hear your joke, Pasquale. All right. <laughs> what kind of music? Do balloons hate? Do I have to dignify this with an answer? What kind of music Rock? do balloons hate? No. Uh, polka? No. Pol no. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, give up? Oh, I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we give up, Pasquale. What kind of music do balloons hate? Uh, pop music. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Pop music. Pop. I get it. Oh. Oh. That's a good one. Oh. Pop? Huh? Like soda pop? Yeah, Munch, like soda pop. I don't get it. Munch, you know what a balloon does when you stick it with a needle? Um, it pops. Right, and so balloons hate what music? Uh, needle music? I give up. <laughs> That's okay, Munch. We'll explain it to you later. Drumstick, Nick. Oh, you're right, Sally. <laughs> the cat! The cat in the hat! That's me, the cat. The cat in the hat. What was that crazy sound? We were drumming, cat. Only... I broke my drumstick. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I know a lot about sticks. 
I have sticks galore! Hockey stick! Lollipop stick! Candle stick! Joystick! Walking stick! Stick stickity pickup sticks! Whoa! That's a lot of sticks! But none of them work as a drumstick! Hmm. Well, let's not get stick stuck, Nick Nut. Let's go see my friend Betty the Beaver at Paddle Puddle Pond. She knows a lot about sticks, too. Maybe she can help. Yeah! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Mom, can Sally and I go get a stick from Cat's friend Betty the Beaver? Betty the Beaver? Okay, as long as you stick around here when it's time for dinner. <laughs> we will. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you steady? Yes, we are. Are you sure you're ready to explore? Yes, we are. Then buckle up! <laughs> Quick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> The thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in a hat today. We're off to see Betty to find a new stick. A drumstick for Nick, not too long or too thick. Here we go, 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 go. go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. Oh, man. It was a tough game out there today. I thought that was going to be it forever. But then, it was dig deep time. And I brought it, and I struck like a cobra. That was a good tag. Kids take play seriously. Nourish it. Quaker Chewy. The goodness of whole grains, no high fructose corn syrup, and 25% less sugar than the leading sweet snacks. Hey kids, it's showtime! Yeah! With Pasquale the Chef, Jasper T. Chows, Mr. Munch, Helen Henny, and your favorite mouse, Chuck E. Cheese!
your mall tour go? Huh? Has anyone seen my capas? Can't seem to find them. I was chewing on them earlier. Lost your shoes, huh? Yeah, and I've got to find them. The next song we're going to do is so much fun to dance to. You know, the running man, the robot, breaking. Yeah, those are uh, all dances, huh? The crap, <laughs> the robot. Um, I already said that. Um, popping and locking. Well, it looks like our good buddy Jasper is caught up in some windmill. serious reminiscing. Um, uh, the 80s were or, where it was at. You know, um, parachute gliding, pants, neon uh, spandex shorts, mime, mall hair. The sprinkler, <laughs> oh, the list the could big. go on and on. Makes you glad we moved on, huh? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. fun to kick around the past with all the fun things of the 80s, but it sure is nice being here with you kids right here and right now. But we're going to take a break, but we'll be back. Don't worry about that. Grab yourself a nice cold drink, play some games, and hey, enjoy life. We'll see you in just a bit. Bye. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen my four breakers only, Matt? Yeah, it's backstage next to your electric boogaloo set.
CECTV Chunky Lobsters have teeth in their stomach? Well, now you know. 